Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down okay. Institute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back to Fallout 4. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're actually going to come over here and talk to this guy. We we heard that radio signal, uh, I think it was last episode? Uh, it's actually been a couple days since I recorded, so... I don't fully remember uh, what I what I did last episode. <laughs> uh, so I, the dude's in here somewhere. And someone pointed out uh, that Morpheus was actually in this tube when we came out the first time. Uh, there was a dude sitting here that looked just like Morpheus, and I didn't pick it up. Or I didn't pick up on it. Uh, where... How... Um... Hi, the I'm here. Again's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Uh, how... Um... <laughs> Is he down here? Hello? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is, what, what is happening here? What is happening here? Things are not what they seem. Oh, there's a door. Never mind. <laughs> ah. Got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Shut up, Kent. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. Okay. I guess. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Um, sounds, sounds familiar. Right. You'd remember him if you heard his show. They're the best detective shows in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Okay. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They of course made they it do. for the TV show. Will you help? Sure. I'll make a costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. I am. I am the best. I I completely agree with that statement. Ooh. I thought that was the first. <laughs> I thought that was a person standing there. I was like, what do you want? You got nothing. All right, what's over here? The turlet. There's turlets over here. Turlets. And that's it. All right, nice. Okay, so we got to figure out where this place is. We're about to switch out our power cores, but that's fine. We got plenty. All right, where are where are you the place with the things that we need for the taking yes uh, um hmm i don't uh, see the place with oh there it is all right so we need to go to wait vault 114 wait what really Trinity Tower, Combat Zone. Go to Vault 114. Alright, it's actually right here. We actually just teleported in right there. And it's right here. This gun is so awesome. Alright. Hubris Comics. Uh, Scavengers. Thor's Outfit. Harness. Let's go. Let's do the thing. Things are going to be done. People are going to be shot. And it's going to be glorious. 
Die, monkey. Oh, hey! How's it going? You're dead. So you know. <laughs> God, this gun is so freaking awesome, man. I love this gun. I really do. Burnt unstop. I hear them. There we go. Oh yeah. One percent chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Nice. Cash register. Telephone. People saying take the telephones. Or something. Is there even anything? Why would we want to unlock? There's nothing in there. I mean, I'm gonna unlock it, but. Oop. Nice. Oh, there is. Rognax axe. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sure. Keep it. Um. Is there anything, anything in here of interest? There's a safe. I will take these things. And that and that. Whatever that can stay. Doesn't look like there's... A whole lot to this room, so. Oh, we didn't. We haven't been searching the bodies. Okay. Wow! <laughs> One shot! Nice! Move, dog! What was. What was that sound? Oh, hi. No. No. Dog's just standing there like, huh? <laughs> wow, there's a lot of bad guys in here. Um. Okay. Take the fan. Silver Shroud photo? Okay. Burnt. They're all burnt. I'm hoping there's going to be more in here to read and to get some more stuff from the reading of the things. I saw that. Telephone. Someone said, take all the telephones. And so this is what I'm... Office key. And this is what I'm doing. Oh. Holder. Oh, wait. What, did, what was... Weaver's Comics office key? I just... I, I just got the office key, man. Uh... What? What? Hi. really need to get some more of this ammo. This gun is so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know what the wooden blocks are for, but I keep pick I keep picking them up. Nothing there. What up, dog? Alright, so that's the Silver Shroud. That's the, that's the entrance, right? Like, so we've, we've been there. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot here. 
So I guess... If we've been there... Wrecked. Kickball and dinner fork. Kickball, it's what's for dinner. Uh, Alright, so nothing... Where? Did he fall down? Oh. No. Bad feral ghoul. Back in jail. Pre-war money. Desk. All the burnt comics there ever were are in this one place. Um, figure it's in here somewhere. Huh. Oh. Hello. All right, so we need to get in there. I have a feeling that's where it is. In here. Okay. And dog food, camera. Use the stuff to. Uh huh. Maybe it's not in here. Producer's terminal. Hmm. Oh, it's still. Okay, it goes up even more. Where, where is the glowing one? Ah, get back. Head. Head. What? Load! Reload! Reload! <laughs> Jeez. I'm almost out of ammo for this gun. That sucks. <sighs> Alright, time to stop using this gun. Uh, where's my other pistol? Ah, there we go. All right, this one's still pretty good, so... I mean, it's not as good as the other one, obviously. All right. Studio control terminal. Um, I don't, I don't know that we need the studio control terminal for anything. Got it. Very good at this game. Rumpel Tradora, Black Vest, and Slacks. Frogneck costume? Oh, yeah. Sure. Increases wear strength and melee damage. Strength 2, weight 2. Oh, wait, no, it weighs 2. <laughs> Alright. Pompadour wig, black rim glasses. Baby bottle, buff out, security baton. Ugh. Okay. Freaking dog. He scared me, man. Do 5% damage with an alien blaster. Well, I gotta find an alien blaster first, you jerk. Oh, move dog. Okay. Dang it. That's it. <laughs> Persuasion and charisma. Ooh. Or no, perception and charisma. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take it. Sunglasses. Ah, uh, no. We'll take that. Yeah. That's fine. Alright, so now we gotta get out and take that back over to Dude and see what happens. I have a feeling we're gonna have to go, or he's gonna want us to go on a mission with him or something. Um, and then we're gonna get his gun. Or something. That's, that's what I'm feeling. For some reason. Oh. Oh! Perfect. Huh. Did that have value? I didn't look. <laughs> I'm guessing that had value. Alright, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head back over to, to Home Skillet and uh, see what's... Hmm. Someone said you don't take fall damage in a suit, so... I will trust. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Hello? I have your thing. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. In memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. All right. There you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. <laughs> I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. Me, You up yeah. for being a Silver Shroud? <laughs> You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. Uh... Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Reduces damage from humans by 15%. All right. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Yay! Time to fight crime! All right, so what do we, what, what do, we do? Listen to the Silver Shroud station in Good Neighbor. Um, so do I have to equip um, the... And, and can the Silver Shroud wear, um, power armor? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Alright. Uh, Grognak costume, Silver Shroud armor. Watch, cannot do this well in power armor. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, that I can do. Uh, but this I cannot do. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Let us see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can we then get back in? <laughs> Would that is that gonna work? Because I mean, I, oh, it like completely replaces my helmet. <laughs> uh all right, let's go out here and I guess, um, I guess we'll see what happens. All right, so we need to listen to the Silver Shroud radio station. Silver Shroud radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Wayne Delancey. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy. If he's back no. here. Radio. Yes. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Step Shield away from my meat, boy. Unless you want to do next. Is the Silver Shroud. Um. Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so pimping. Selmy? <laughs> yeah, I killed the bitch. And her wealth, too. Shouldn't have bothered they barely had two caps between them. Really? You listen to the radio? Someone wants you dead. You threatening me? Are you threatening me? That's your last mistake, asshole. You mess with me? Yeah. 
You're dead. The mayor. So he wasn't here in some kind of official. Uh capacity. put calling card on Wayne's body. 308, 38, here, stim pack. Let me show you. Combat armor. The contents of the late mayor's case. I feel like I want to take that. But these are real estate papers. Friend of the show. Jerry is here. Alright. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello. It's on. We're recording in here. Oh man. Hmm. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Great. Great. Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. What? Shit, the shroud off Wayne. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market and kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ Keep kill kids. Keep your hands where I can see them. Whatever. Hey, you. This is my turf, and I don't appreciate what you call them, you know, trespasses. Beetle. Selling cams to kids is just wrong. What's it do ya? Oh, for Christ's sake. He can't put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right. Um. No. Last chance. No more kids. Ah, to hell with you. Waste them. No. Dang it. Nah. Where'd he go? Why are you running away, man? Ha, no, dear heart. Shroud stumbled. Whatever you the missile. I know the mayor's misdeed. I thought that thought that guy was gonna get involved, but Tato! I was about to What are you doing, dog? Attention! Okay. Chapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Yeah. Galaxy News Radio. It's time to dare. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in this third round. Alright, White Castle. Wait, wait, what was it? <laughs> Something Charlie? Alright, wait, is that? Yeah. Make way for paying customers. What? Um. I want answers, not alcohol. Tell me about Kendra. No one learned you your P's and Q's. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. 
If you're set on meeting you, yeah. for a fee, it can be arranged. And yeah, of course I'm all right. Mm. Uh, Bryben. Whatever. She's still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhoods. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business there. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's leave. Hey, sister. Oh, you were doomed. That's no normal dame. Quite right, you custodian of criminality, for I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. What? Sorry, boss. I had no idea. Your mistake is our game. <laughs> I don't even understand what's going on in that radio, man. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Oh, you actually, I want to see. Does this guy? Justice is coming. A good neighbor. I hope You'll you're see. buying. Even a girl. Sure. Let's take a look. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. <laughs> oh, only ten. Oh, or only sixty-five rounds. Dang it. Um, ooh, 44. Let's take it. And we're done. Okay, let's leave before we spend more money. That's stuff. Alright, so the lady we're supposed to murder is in here somewhere. Hi. Hi. Oh, dang it. Wrecked. <laughs> this gun is awesome, too. Just say it. Right. Okay, blah, blah, blah. What kind of ammo you got? 45 round? I'll take, oops. I'll take the stim pack. Forty-five stim pack. Garbage. All right, let's go over. <laughs> You're dead. Can I? No. All right, that's really bright though. Just saying, it's really freaking bright. Ooh, I see you. I'm actually kind of surprised I saw that. <laughs> Anything else I need to know about? No. All right. Oh, hi. Hi. You must be Kendra. And you. You're the crazy old bastard. I am. Nancy's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Ah, the radio. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Uh huh. Uh. Wayne got what was coming to him. And so. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so pimping. <laughs> It, your head's gone. Sorry. Execute critical. Boom! Aw. Oh, no, it hit. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Fusion cell. Contract. Long John's metal. Leave calling card. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta turn the radio back up. That was, it, it's just, it's, it's really loud. At least to me, it's really loud. Uh, the 
Oh, legendary mole rat. Legendary mole. Oh, any day. <laughs> I was like, legendary mole rat. And it's. What? Oh, my health. Holy crap. What the heck was that? What? 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 Where? Who? Okay. Stop it. Alright, so. Can I. Can I. What? Ah, what is happening? <laughs> All right, legendary, legendary glowing mole rat. Powered leather left leg. Okay. No. Why? Does it seem like I'm tired? <laughs> what? Oh, hi. What? Get out of here. Another headliner. Hancock sees a special meeting with our hero. A silver shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, shroud. We're all with you. Mischief. Heard what you mm, let's see what this guy wants. Yes, who bad? Ah, oh, this radio. I need it to, like, hear what's going on with the plot. But it gets in the way of talking to people. Oh, well. What can I do for our newcomer? You wanted to talk to me. Wait. Does it not work if I'm in power armor? I mean, I am the Silver Shroud. <laughs> There we go. Mayor Hancock? Guess what someone tells me. Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? Um... This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the Mike Den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people. Fashion in a few faces. I respect that so far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the get up? Um many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. <laughs> the low lights you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone, he will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. <laughs> Got a lead on two of his own Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out, and Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Okay. Sounds good. So apparently, uh, being in the power armor doesn't actually make me the Silver Shroud. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Good to know. All right, uh, I feel like that's. I've, I feel like I've recorded for for a while, um, and I think um, I'm gonna end this episode here and stuff. So, yeah. All right. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you all next time. You sticking around? You need to join a crew.